Hi, I'm Colin. I'm 23 years old and I've been fly fishing for about three years now. I live in northern New York State on one of the Great Lakes, Lake Ontario. I'm in the northeastern section of Lake Ontario by the St. Lawrence River. There's a couple of very popular rivers in the Great Lakes region. One in particular is the Salmon River in Pulaski. It's about an hour from where I'm at. People from all over the country and the world come to fish the Salmon Run in early September through late October. To find a decent place to fish, expect to have to work for it. You're not going to be sitting in a lawn chair in the river and have it fall right in your lap. It looks tasty. It's called a clown egg. It's just got a bunch of colors on it, so. Easy to see. Today we drove about an hour and walked across two cornfields and up and down muddy banks, tripping left and right, slipping all over the place. Just to find super muddy water and no fish. We were just blind casting and didn't catch anything. There you go, that's a good hook set. That. <laughs> yeah, right. Something else you're going to want to come to terms with is that you're going to lose fish. You'll see me here in this video, I lose many fish and I just laugh because it's just what happens. I'm using a size 2 to 6 hook, which is very small. These salmon can get huge, up to 30 plus pounds. And they put up a heck of a fight. You're going to want to buckle up.
him off. I think he came off. No, he didn't. He's still on. Oh my lord! Woo! Oh baby! Dang! Yeah, he's running. I gotta bring him over here. <laughs> Don't get discouraged. You're gonna lose way more fish than you land, probably. To be honest, landing the fish is just a cherry on top. The fun and the challenge is to trek out to the river, finding the fish, and then choosing the right fly to catch them on. Oh! guy so this is the rod and reel setup I was using there this is the Reddington dually switch rod it's the 11 foot 6 8 weight so on the rod, I have the Reddington Behemoth. This is a great reel. It has great drag on it, handles fish really well. Now it's a 9-10 size reel on the eight weight rod. You do gotta size up your reel if you're gonna do that, if you're gonna get one of these switch rods. As you can see, it balances it really well. Um, I have no problems with the reel being too heavy or anything like that. On the reel, I got uh, the reel switch chucker fly line. This is 570 grain, which is too heavy for this rod. So you're gonna to wanna to go online and check the uh, correct grain that you're gonna need for your fly line. I'm pretty sure it's 470 or something to 525, I don't know, it's something, it's online. So from the fly line down, I have right here this butt section. I have, uh, right here, it's what, it's what it is. This is Rio Heavy Versa Leader. This is a 10 foot leader and it's 25 pound. So what I did was just cut this in half and I use that as my butt section. It's real thick, um, so it's you know it'll give it that tapered, uh, that taper that you need. But also it's good for getting that split shot on there, and, and the split shot stays right on. So, yeah. So you got the 25 pound Versa leader going down to a barrel swivel. Put your split shot above it so that when you break off, you don't lose all your split shot. And then from the barrel swivel down, I got uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon. But you can go down to 10 or you know depending on the size of the fish you're fishing or you know how spooky they are or whatever time of the season it is whatever etc then you got your fly down here it's got an egg sack on it right there so this rod is great um for getting some good casts out there you can really cast far with this thing and the switch aspect is that you can use it one-handed or you can use it two-handed so it's really nice one of the great advantages of this rod is that you can fish really congested water um, or rivers where there's trees and shrubs all behind you uh, because you know when you're using the two-handed function on this rod all that line is staying right on the water you don't have to back cast with this rod is what I'm saying so you can fish really tight water and not have to worry about getting hung up on things that's one of the great advantages I've seen with this rod because I see a lot of other guys that use just one-handed rods and they got a back cast and it's just they can't get it far enough out there because they got trees and all that stuff behind them so this is just a great rod for fishing uh congested water and getting it out there at the same time you can really cast with this thing uh, another great advantage of this rod is that it can handle a lot of different types of fish i wanted to get a rod that can do smallmouth uh, 
pike, salmon, uh, steelhead, you know, pretty much anything you can imagine in the Great Lakes region. So I just kind of wanted something that could do it all, and this definitely can handle salmon really, really well. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. It's a great rod, and I highly recommend it. It's kind of expensive, but you know, it's you only have to get one, and it'll last you a while. So I think it's a great investment. So that's the setup right there.